Oh, and one more thing. Uh, my thesis statement is um, why do people like the Tunnel Man story? Uh, do they do they dislike to tell stories? And so, yeah. Can you believe that shit? I thought... A, th a thesis statement? What the fuck is that? I thought this was a class about learning legends and reading stories. Yeah, but the only way you're going to write a paper is with a thesis statement. What is that? That's not a paper, it's a video. This is my first... I just got to this school. They give me a sheet of a thousand boring things, the one interesting one I pick. And it's just about writing papers. Oh, and you gotta make a video too. It, you know, and the whole class is urban legends, and I went, and she gives us a list of these urban legends to do, and I go and talk to her about it, and I was like, is anybody doing Tunnel Man? She didn't even know what Tunnel Man was. It's er, this professor teaching, what is she, like a so, sociology professor? She's, I think so, I've never had a class with her, so. She's teaching a class about urban legends, she doesn't know what Tunnel Man is. I'm sure there's a reason for them to do everything. He's, I mean, they didn't get their jobs for, for no reason, you know. Yeah, right. We'll see about that. She, said, she says, I can do it, but I have to make a video researching it because it's a, a local campus thing that my, I have to do extra research that's based in the school. Where everybody else is just sitting in the library. I have to make a fucking video. You piss her off? No, but she's like... Wants me to do this. I, I asked to do this one that she didn't list. She didn't put it in her list. So it's like a special one. So I have to do extra work. And I was, I tried to back out of it. And she's like, no, no, I think it's a good idea. You should do Tunnel Man. And she made me do it. She didn't even know what it was. Everyone knows what it is. And the, the person who teaches urban legends doesn't know what it is. some
There's nothing down here. There's nothing down here. It's some heating system to make it noise. That's probably the most uh, the closest a tile man will ever get. Some heating system making noise. There's your tunnel man. Yeah. Just kind of a thing with fear. You know, it's a response to fear. People are afraid of each other, other students, students afraid of each other. This kind of goes into that in a certain way. Uh, how has the greater community? Responded to the influences that this legend has had on the community. Someone who lives in tunnels is uh, poor. You know, poor people are monsters kind of thing. Is what the, the theme of the story, you know, kind of a demonizing of people of the lower class. Kind of someone who drops out must be a beast or a, a horrible person. That's kind of what I read from it. I think it's kind of obvious. Using your research sources, how do you think the legend has changed over time as it's been recounted? Why or why not? Um, well, I did a little Googling and uh, I didn't find anything on Wikipedia or anything like that, but uh, I just saw some different versions of the story. And uh, it's, it seems that the only thing that really changed is like the age of the kid and, and what year it happened. How does this legend reflect changing gender roles, norms in our present day community? Uh, well, it's a guy. It's a male. So I guess it's like guys are you know, violent. You know, backing up the aggressiveness. Instead of, you know, it wouldn't be a girl who did it. Who dropped out. And lives in, you know, lives somewhere on campus. Because... Uh, of gender roles and norms. As, like, it was in our books, what the guy said about, uh, you know, how art and life are intertwined and the, the social mushrooming, I think was the term he used. So that kind of stuff. So as uh, part of the research of my project, uh, I am looking at Herring Cole, the uh, supposed place where the uh, tunnel man, Frank Washington, as people call him, spent a lot of time. Uh, most of the stories I've heard, he is, he studied a lot here. Uh, one person said they li that he lives here. I don't think that's intentional, because I don't know uh, how you could live in a campus building without being seen, but uh, there we go. But either way, there's, there's a pretty strong connection between the, the myth and the story, uh, this, the myth and this building. So, uh, you know, definitely worth checking out. It's, this is the reading room for anyone who doesn't know, so it is a place where you study. It's not a, uh, a weird building to spend a lot of time in, especially for someone who's supposed to be as uh, 